Hey everyone, this is Sean. Today I'm going to be talking about some really cool sets of tools to help you understand and manage your battery life for your Microsoft Surface. Have you ever wondered uh, when your Surface is asleep why the battery tends to drain or maybe your Surface is doing fine and all of a sudden one day it's like your battery suddenly died really quick and you had no idea why that happened. Well, I'm going to show you some tools that are always running in the background of your Surface that will monitor your battery life and your power consumption and these really cool tools will help you understand how to optimize your surface it'll help you understand which apps are the culprit for why it's draining your surface while it's sleeping so I'm going to be talking about three of these battery tools in particular today and traditionally when you want to access these tools you have to open up the command prompt as an administrator and to do that you you go down to the start menu you right click and you select command prompt admin okay and you may have to enter your password or not but you want to make sure that you're in the admin portal now this can get a little bit intimidating for some people so what I actually did was I created three files that will run this for you so you don't have to use the command prompt I've uploaded these files to my SkyDrive so they're publicly available and you can find the link to these files on my YouTube video description. Okay, the first tool that I want to walk through is called Battery Report. Okay, so to run these uh, so to run these files that I uploaded, all you have to do is either right click or open up the context menu and select run as administrator. And you may have to enter in your password or uh, select yes and it'll go ahead and run the battery report. So you can see in your battery report, uh, it'll give you some information about your device up front and it'll tell you about the batteries that you have installed. In my case, this is my Surface 2, I have a power cover attached, so you can see that I have two batteries and it'll give you some information about the relative sizes of those batteries. It'll tell you about recent usage, so this is my usage over the past three days. It'll tell you about uh, when you've had it plugged in, if any, when it's been in connected standby, uh, any battery drain, you know, when you've charged it. So this is really good high level information that can give you a snapshot for how your battery is doing, what your surface has been doing over the last three days, or if anything weird has happened and you don't know when it's happened, this will give you an idea. There's also a uh, chart, a battery usage chart where you can see kind of the, the level of charge over the last few days. Uh, usage history so you can see here this is a year ago November 3rd uh, 2013 and this goes all the way down to uh, November 1st 2014 and beyond uh, so this gives you kind of a long-term picture of, of what's been happening and um, how many hours it's been in standby or, or been active or charging uh, battery capacity so you can um, look at the life of your battery the health of your battery Again, long-term estimates, and this is battery life estimates, so you can see how long your battery is lasting, uh, and it kind of gives you a, an average down here, so you can see my average battery life is, you know, about 12 to 13 hours uh, on the on this device. So you can see it's uh, it gives you quite a bit of information in this battery report, but what it doesn't tell you is what's the culprit. If you are having poor battery life, or if something, you know, if you're really wanting to pinpoint something, this doesn't quite tell you that. This is just more of a battery report that tells you about some high level information. For finding out the culprit for why your surface is doing what it's doing, I'm going to be showing you a, the next tool, which is the sleep study. Uh, sleep study works on devices that has connected standby, so the Surface RT devices or the Surface Pro 3 device. So let's go ahead and run this sleep study. Same thing, run as administrator. Uh, give it a password or say yes. It'll run the sleep study. Again, all these reports are in web pages, so it'll, it'll open up your web browser. Okay, so again, some information about your device up top. And then a really cool charts and graphs that kind of tells you what your device is doing while it's sleeping. Okay, so this will tell you uh, some information about your discharge uh, rate. You know, is it draining your battery? So this will tell you about your 
connected standby sessions is what they call and what what's happening during those sessions so you can see here this is October uh, 30th uh, the more you go down the, the more recent it becomes so here I'm looking at November 1st and it'll tell you you know you can expand each one of these to look at you know what's under them you know uh, and it'll really allow you to hone into what is causing your surface to drain its battery while it's sleeping. So if you're having trouble, if your surface is sleeping and battery is discharging, don't just ignore it, don't just accept it as your what your surface is doing, no. You have the power to change it, you can open up this tool, you can figure out what is causing your battery life to drain while it's sleeping, because it shouldn't, and you can actually uh, help your situation out. And last but not least, the next tool I want to show is the uh, energy report. Okay, so uh, same thing, run as administrator. It'll go ahead and run. The, the energy report takes uh, 60 seconds. It, it'll kind of do a little energy analysis in the background. So I'll go ahead and uh, pause the video while that's working. Okay, so the energy report. The energy report is exactly what it sounds like. It's an energy report. For 60 seconds, it looks and sees what's happening on your system. It, it looks to see how your system is using energy and it'll give you a report. This is useful for if you feel like your surface is hot. You know, if you feel your surface and it's warm and you don't know what in the world's going on, what's running, why does it seem to, to drain on energy, the energy report is a nice high-level report, so it's definitely worth checking out. You know, if, if you're concerned about battery life or if you're concerned about your system is always hot and you don't know why, the energy report is a nice third tool to run uh, just to make sure all your bases are covered. Okay, now these tools also do work on the Surface Pro 3. However, for some reason on my Surface Pro 3, when I run these tools, um, the web page says it doesn't display and that's actually because for some reason these files are saved in the systems 32 folder and I don't know why but I can't view web pages from that folder so I have to copy them to the desktop so let me show you really quick uh, what you have to do so what you're going to want to do if you have a surface pro or surface pro 2 or 3 you're going to want to go into your hard drive uh, your main drive with C and then you're going to want to go into Windows and then you're going to want to go into System32. Okay, sort by, sort by date modified so that you can see the newest files that were created towards the top and you will see uh, Battery Report. Okay, go ahead and just copy that to your uh, desktop and now you should be able to open your Battery Report. Okay, boom! Okay, last but not least, if you don't want to download the tools that I've uploaded, if you'd rather just use the command prompt and do it yourself, uh, what you need to type in is in my video description, so do check that. Uh, it's the power CFG uh, command in the command prompt, so you can do that yourself. You know, you, you don't need to use, these are just to make it convenient, you don't have to use them. And that's what I have for today, so if you uh, found this video useful and helpful, please do like the video. And let me know in the comments if you have any other questions or comments about these. Uh, enjoy going out and finding out the culprits for why your battery life might not be that great if it's not. And thank you very much for watching.